Oh, good morning. Um, very quick video. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wanted to change Stanley here. I've got no idea. Can you see me? Oh, I don't know. Not me, but... I wanted to change Stanley. <clears throat> I've got this little jumper I bought ages and ages ago in a cell. Um, F&F, &F, that's Tesco's, isn't it? Nobody's ever worn it, so... I thought I'd pop it on him. Oh dear, oh dear. Peter's just taken Ben out and I'm supposed to be tidying up. So this is very quickly. I wanted just to change him. Oh, you're taking your shoes off already. Come on, pop it. <clears throat> I have those because I don't think these trousers are going to fit without with those on. <clears throat> oh. As you can hear, my cold is no better. Thank you. I was up at three o'clock in the morning, coughing away, um, putting Optrex in my eyes because they're so sore, really hurt. Um, buttercup syrup for my coughing, paracetamol, you name it, I took whatever I could. Um, yeah, so no better. She's a bit of a pig, isn't it? Took my daughter, she did have her dentist treatment yesterday. I uh, got that sorted. Yeah, I was telling you, um, she was at, she's without a car. They um, went on holiday in France. You know, remember I said I was going down feeding her oh, turtle and... What's the name of that other thing? Oh, I don't know. it come to me in a minute. Anyway, I was going down feeding those. They was on holiday. Had a lovely holiday in the south of France. Coming back home, she was with her partners. Um, well, they went down in separate cars because they, obviously, they took the three, three children with them in their car. And then um, his parents was in another car. And uh, coming back home, of course they stop halfway now because it's far too far for the children to travel in one go. Um, yeah, the car plays up. So they ended up spending a whole day in a garage with three children. And my, my, as I say, my daughter's heavily pregnant as well. And... Uh, till they got a hire car. Then they had to drive another five hours to the hotel they were staying in halfway. Then from there, they had to take the hire car to Calais and go on as foot passengers on the ferry to come over here on this side and then get another hire car to come home. So she's without transport. Her car is still in France. So that's a bit annoying, isn't it? Right, this is some... Um, when she really needs it, as I say, for ferrying the kids around and herself and what have you. It's not easy. Oh, she's been ill with that this bad tooth, so it's um, not good. They can't... It needs to be done. It's a wisdom tooth, so it needs to be done in hospital. Of course, she can't be referred until she has a certain x-ray done. She can't have that done until she's had the baby. Um, so it's just a bit of a palaver. Oh, my youngest granddaughter started school yesterday. I dropped her off. And she only done half a day yesterday, yesterday afternoon. Her dad picked her up after she finished. And apparently she got out the car and she said, Whew, that was a hard, a hard day. She'd only been there. She started at one and finished at half past three, uh, quarter past three. And she thought that was a hard day. Bless her heart. She's got harder times to come, I think. She's funny, though, because they come back by ferry and uh, from France. And she said to me, Mummy fib to me, Nanny. I said, why? She said, she said we were going to see fairies and we didn't see any fairies. 
Because she's out of fairy. She thought she said fairies and she was made up. She thought she was going to see some fairies. His hair really does need cutting. I can't cut hair, but... This is how I rooted him, but I'm no good at cutting hair. Where am I? Here? Puppet. Mm -hmm. That looks quite nice on here in that jumper. Moi. Little dinosaur. I thought it was going to be miles too big, but it's nice and snuggle bugs, isn't it? Hi. <coughs> Your poor sister, look, I've put her in your chair. She's not happy over there. She likes being in the bed, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. Let me go to the back. There we are. There you are, right, I must go and get some work done. And I, oh, I hope I feel better soon. I'm just getting ridiculous now. Um, Peter said to me, oh, perhaps you need antibiotics. I said, you can't have antibiotics for a cold. It's, I know I haven't got a chest infection. It's not gone to my chest. Well, you know, it's gone to my chest, but it's not an infection. I can still deep breathe. I haven't got pains when I'm breathing, so... It's just going to take its time. Here we are on this little serious Stanley. And I'm going to go. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.